Hello everyone, today, I want to talk about a new AI model called Quen Image Edit, a new in-context diffusion AI model for image editing. So, this thing is built on a massive 20 billion parameter model from Alibaba's Quen team. Plus, it's awesome at editing text right inside images, especially in English and Chinese, keeping everything looking natural and sharp. It's got this dual control setup using something called Quen 2.5 VL for understanding the scene and a VAE encoder for the visual look. As Comfy UI just updated for this image editing model, we are going to try it out loading in Comfy UI. Also, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison with Flux Context, which is also a recent launch image editing AI model. All right, so after we download the diffusion model, which is Quen Image Edit, as you can see right here, I'm using the FP8 just to try it out. I also downloaded the Quen Image Lightning. It helps cut down the sampling steps. You can find that in the link description below, and I'll post it there too. So, you'll see this repo for the Quen Image Lightning download. Pick either one to play around with. I'm choosing the Quen Image Lightning X Steps 1.1 to see how that goes with the 1.1 version. The minimum steps for this one are 8. I can handle that and be patient for those 8 steps, so I'm going with it. Anyway, we're gonna enable this node here, connecting from the diffusion model to the LoRa model loader, and then we're sending the data to the model sampling. By default, everything's using the Quen image generations from the workflow, as you see here. One thing we need for the text encoder to get started is the VAE. We gotta load the Quen image VAE and bring our image in here. So, Let's say we've got the image loader right here. Just drag and drop another image loader like this. I've got an example image from a previous tutorial. I'll try some image editing with this one since it's already loaded, and I'm going to change the motorbike to another color and see how that looks. Anyway, we're using this super simple prompt here, and with it, I'm changing only the motorcycle to bright yellow, keeping all the logos on top. And let's see. We've generated the image. And as you can see, the result is pretty close to the original. The logo on top of the motorbike is still there, like on the front of the bike where you see those logos, it's still intact. But there's some noise and loss of detail, like with this text. So we might need a refiner instead of just using the first sampler like this, running eight steps, and thinking that's it for the image. By the way, I did another workflow previously for the Quen image. So, Quen Image is a text image model we tried out in a previous video tutorial, and with it, I added more details by using two samplers. Then, I did an SDXL upscaler just to try to remove those plastic texture artifacts on the character's skin. It worked in some ways, just like the old days with the SDXL upscale. So, I'm going to use part of this workflow and integrate it with Quen, starting from this basic workflow. We're going to edit the image, enhance the details, upscale it, and all that. By the way, the image generation here took 9 seconds for the 8-step process. The previous one took 14 seconds because I was using larger dimensions for the width and height to test it out. Okay, so I played around a bit more with the workflow using Quen Image Edit. I've got the first sampler for editing and used another sampler with Quen Image for a little enhancement, adding more detail. I'm using the same LoRa with the Quen Image Lightning, bringing X Steps sampling in here. I don't want to change too much of the image, so I set a very low denoise to make it just a little different. The car looks better for some edges too. Of course, this isn't upscaled, so you'll need an image upscaler if you want to bump up the size. Next, people might ask about the flux context we've played with and how it compares to Quen Image Edit. So I'm going to test that doing a side-by-side -side comparison with Quen Image Edit and Flux Context. Apples to apples, both for image editing. We'll use the same image, same editing text prompts, and see which one generates better in this workflow. All right, we've got the side-by-side -side comparison for both models. On the left, I'm loading Flux Context with a basic workflow, and the only thing I added is Flux Turbo to lower the sampling steps. I brought it down to 10 steps here. On the right, I'm using the same workflow I showed for Quen Image Edit. I'm using Quen Image Lightning only for the LoRa, which cuts down the sampling steps. Let's set the sampling steps to 10 for both to keep it fair. We've got the same prompts for both AI models, same dimensions, and we're passing them into both models. Of course, it's the same image for editing. 
I'm using the image we just showed, changing it to, let's say, a bright red color and keeping all the logos on top. Let's try this image one more time. I'm also showing the comparison with the command prompts below to check the performance of both models. Okay, we've got the results for this first comparison. For timing, Flux was actually a bit faster, 6 seconds for 10 steps. Quen Image Edit, also using 10 steps, took 11 seconds. Pretty similar timing, but Flux is almost 50% faster if you're looking at the numbers for generation speed. For image quality, both generated the same dimensions. Here's the original image. First, let's check Flux context. It kept all the logos on the motorbike, just like my text prompt said, only changing the motorcycle color. The tire marks are still there. The person standing next to the motorbike is the same, and it even rethought the logo at the front. The original logo was bright orange, and after changing the bike color from blue to red, it switched the logo to bright yellow, making it stand out more. The logo's shape stayed the same. If I'm being super picky, Flux Context is doing a bit better here. Now, moving to Quen Image Edit, let's bring up the original image. The result from Quen feels kind of pixelated for the character already. The sampler settings might be the problem, or maybe it's a wrong config on my end, but it's got that pixelated look. For image editing, it matched the prompt adherence at the same level as Flux Context, changing the bike color and rethinking the logo color to mix and match with the bright red bike, turning it yellow. Pretty cool. One thing, if I have to pick is that Flux Context looks better. The text on the bike looks sharper and clearer compared to Quen Image Edit. There might be better sampler settings for Quen, but it's not performing at its best right now, just based on what we've got from testing the output. So both image editing models are able to hit the same level of prompt adherence in this case. For another case, like text on the image for editing, Quen Image Edit does really well at this point. You see my original image here, the text is low R A trained. I tried putting other languages, not just English, like a Chinese word for video here, and Quen Image is the only one that can handle it right now, using multiple languages and understanding the prompt better than Flux Context in this kind of situation. So, I think it's a give and take. Flux Context is great for human character editing sometime, but Quen Image Edit is good for text and also multilingual. For object positioning, Quen Image Edit sometimes even better. Anyway, I will post this workflow link in the video description. You can try to test both image models. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.